Yeah, let's directly jump into it. So we will first access the transaction code SE37. That's SE37. And then the function module called BAPI Pure Create. This function module is used to create purchase orders. So then click on execute or this is F8 on your keyboard. Over here you can see we got a bunch of input parameters and tables. So for our simple example, we will use the PO header and the PO item and also the PO account. And you can see that there are also some input parameters marked with an X and I will explain this in a second. We start here with the PO header like that. Click on this value sign and here we can now insert the header information for the purchase order. Depending on how you like to maintain this, it would be, yeah, you can use this view over here or you can use the single entry view over here. So we insert here some information like company code, then the document type, then also the respective vendor. Then we have the payment terms and maybe also the purchase organization purchasing group and the currency and that's basically it and then we will click here on copy and you can see the values are now filled going back we also need to map those values this is here the x so you will click on this particular line and now we need to map this so the system knows that those entries we made are important okay and should be stored in the system we click on single entry and here then we say for the company code, this one we use, we use the document type, we use the vendor for sure, we also used the payment terms. Then we use the purchase organization, purchase group, currency. And let me just double check if there is something missing. The item interval, this is also important. Good. Then we click on back. We do the same now for the PO item, so for the actual item values of the purchase order. Click here on PO item, like that. Also go into the single entry view or directly insert the values over here. And yeah, to accelerate the process, I already did this in my uh, system, so yeah. You just fill the values you need and then also click on copy. Going back and then again you go to PO item X to map the values. Here the single entry view makes sense and then we would simply mark each and every item or each and every value we use with an X. And that's it. And we continue this for the PO account. So if we have GL account assignment and cost center assignment. And finally we'll just press here on the save data record button, give it a name like body test 5 and then save it to the system. Now all we need to do is execute the actual body. So I will jump again to slash n se37, that's slash n se37. And this time before I click on execute here, I click on more function module, execute test sequence. Now I insert the function module, which is Barbie pure create. And then I also need to insert the Barbie transaction commit because otherwise what I have done won't be written to the database. And this is exactly, this is actually the sequence. So first the body PO create will be executed and then the BAPI transaction commit. Yeah, then I pull, I will pull the already created query, so to say, from my test data dictionary. Over here we can see BAPI test five, double click. The values are now pre-populated and then I say execute. And we can see the purchase order with the number 6647 was created. Now all I need to do is click on back and execute the Barbie transaction commit because otherwise this won't be written to the database. I click execute and that's it. Now I can also view the purchase order, go to ME transaction slash ME23N and here we can already see the created purchase order.